Hey hey guys, the Spencer here, and I would like to tell you a little story about my group project meeting today that is slightly hilarious. So we were about halfway through, we were kind of feeling the hungers in our tummies, and we were thinking, hey, let's uh, order a pizza. And the pizza place wouldn't deliver to where we had, were meeting, so we had to go somewhere else. So we went to, they, they said they could deliver to the gas station that was really close by. So we went to the gas station, and they came to the gas station, but before they got there, we pulled in and saw this little red car, and there was a guy in the little red car, and he was making some eye contact, looking like he had somebody he was waiting for, and so <laughs> we were obviously looking for somebody who was waiting for somebody, and he comes out with this little tray, with a saran-wrapped tray of uh, dessert, it's a flan, and he's like, Oh, I didn't know if you guys were the people we're, I was waiting for. And we said, no, we're waiting for pizza. He's like, oh, well, I sell flan if you're interested. Without any other context, no business card, no pushing his business or anything like that. He just said that he sells flan if we're interested. So that was the story about how my group potentially almost got drugs from <laughs> this random flan guy. But anyway. Funny stories aside, I'm going to read you some poems that I had to write for my creative writing class. Okay, this poem is titled True Nature, Masquerading Thieves of Hearts and Souls, Whisper into Hearts of Gold, Telling Lies So Sweet and Twisted, Their True Intent, Discreet and Misted. Poem number two, I had to write three of them. Life. Darkness, Warmth, Safety. Light, pain, breath. Drool, vomit, sneeze. Play, scabs, learn. School, friends, cars. Degrees, debts, heartbreak. Work, slave, family. Care, sickness, death. And the last one's kind of long, so hopefully I don't mess up. My family just got home. Creepy. Oh my gosh. Holiday cheer. Laughter and warmth fill the room, and cinnamon chokes the air. Temporary wrapping litters the floor, and steam rises from the mugs of chocolate dreams. Tis a time to forget all the hurt and loss that afflicted us this year, and to lead new lives without compromise till we stagger back to our old ways. The fire crackles down to ash after this Christmas day, and leave, leaving through the cold and slush, relatives and friends can't stay. As they pass through the icy veil, the flash of a smile and wave of a hand lingers in your mind. As you sit in your rocking chair, the ashes fade to dust, and you finally join your long-lost friends as you knew you always must. So yeah, that was, uh, those are some of my things. Please don't judge too harshly, but let me know what you think about it in the comments if you feel like commenting. That's pretty much it. Just remember, keep doing your thing. If anybody tells you differently, dance spontaneously. I'm gonna go watch the new Legend of Korra and cry my eyes out.